Hey there, this is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and this tutorial is going to be about the responsive theme version 1949 and what we are going to do today is create a fold width header and a fold width footer for the responsive theme from CyberChimps. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. We're going to jump over to our dashboard. And we're going to take care of the footer first. That's the easy part, basically. This area down here. And if I use my handy tool, Firebug Inspector, if you watch my tutorial on editing WordPress with Firefox, you'll be able to, to uh, learn about that. Um, we can see here where the footer is, and we got the div for the footer right there. It's highlighted right there. That's the body, and there's the div for the footer right there. scroll down we can see that the footer has a width of 960 which is the width of this container that is holding everything in it nothing goes past the side of this container right here the header the footer it all stops right here at 960 pixels. So what we can do since the footer is outside of the container, main container as indicated by our inspector here, our little tool for Firefox browser, Firebug, there's the container, okay, and there's the footer highlighted underneath the container. See that? There's the container. There's the footer. Separate. Okay. So, since it's outside of the container, we can go ahead and change this width right here. Okay. But I'm going to tell you if we change it here, it won't be permanent. Change it to 100%. And now, as you can see, we have 100% width footer. Okay. But if I refresh, okay, footer returns to normal. That's because I only did it in Firebug. I didn't do it permanently to the CSS. So what we're going to do is do that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and click on the footer, identify it. You're getting a, a bonus lesson in Firebug right here. <clears throat> Go ahead and find the div with the footer. Right there, it's highlighted on the screen. Okay. Go over here to the inspector. To the right in Firebug. And scroll down. And right here, footer. And here's the <coughs> rule declaration for the footer. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to right click on there and copy that. I'm going to go up here to my WordPress dashboard. Okay. Go to theme options. This is a quick way to implement it without logging onto your server and going into your child theme and, or going to your themes editor and modifying the file. 
this CSS styles panel inside of theme options for the responsive theme allows you to put in some code snippets for your CSS which will override either your child theme or your parent theme all right so this width here we're gonna go ahead and change that from pixels to 100 percent and we don't need that and don't need that <coughs> and we don't need that okay this is going to act just like a child theme it's going to override what's already existing on the site now if we go back to the site as you can see let me go ahead and close firebug and you see our footer down here it's 960 pixels I'm going to go ahead and refresh and now it is outside the boundary it is 100 percent wide we now have a full width footer okay I'm going to go ahead and apply some color to that so that we can keep track of it <coughs> using in the inspector from firebug again I'm going to go ahead and find the footer div right there which is outside of the container thank God so we're able to do the footer separately. There's the footer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Once again, scroll down in the inspector, style inspector. And right here for the footer, I'm going to go ahead and add a background color. make it like a light gray there we go okay so that we added that but it's only temporary because it's in firebug but what I can do is go ahead and right click on that copy that rule declaration once again go over to my WordPress dashboard go inside the style CSS option inside of theme options and make some space and go ahead and paste that in there now we've added a background color to the footer okay I don't need this other stuff okay there we go so you can pause the video and write this stuff it's really simple there's no need for me to add files for you to download or anything this is real short you need to get used to writing this type of stuff anyway but these are very short pieces of code right here uh, to do what I'm doing to the home page okay and so the footer is permanent now just with a code snippet you didn't edit the actual file you didn't go into a child theme you didn't go to your server you just use the custom CSS option in theme options for the responsive theme and now we have a full width footer okay so that was the easy part now let's go ahead and do the header okay I'm gonna go ahead and inspect that <coughs> and as we can see we have the body inside the body we have a container inside that container remember the footer was separate okay see the footer down there there's the body container and the footer and the body container also contains the header see that so we have to take the header out of the main body container in order for it to be set free basically so that we can control its width and it won't be contained by this 960 pixel container all right if you follow along all right so basically what we need to do is 
is you can see here the header has its selector okay we're going to end up going into the header PHP file okay so I recommend doing this on a child theme or making a copy um, as I am about to demonstrate you want to go to appearance and editor and on the right side scroll down to header and again this should be in your child theme or do what I'm about to do right now click inside the header PHP file press control A or command A and then control C or command C open up notepad or your text editor and go ahead and paste that in so you have a copy of it all right before you do any edits go ahead and save that I don't need to I have a copy already and basically what we're going to do now is take the header outside of the container all right so let's see <clears throat> we're going to scroll through here and take a look at what's going on here okay so we got here's a container okay that's holding everything and here's the header okay inside of this container whatever's below it is inside of it there's the container and here's the end of the container right here okay right here so the header is all inside this container we're going to take all of that stuff out of it and we're going to go right here we want to take the container hook or I'm sorry the header hook because we're dealing with the header we're taking the header out of the container remember so we want to take this header hook also and the header and everything in between so we're going to go from here which is right underneath the, the container okay we're taking everything for the header 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 okay everything all the way down and end of header right here it says end of header boom and then we want to take the after header hook also okay and we're going to cut that we're going to take that out of there okay control x or command x and then we want to scroll and find where the container is okay here's where the cursor is blinking that's where we just took it out so we want to come right there where the container is and there's a container hook we want to go right above the container hook and the container and make some space and we want to paste control V as in Victor or command V we want to go ahead and paste that code right there above the container so now the header is outside of the container and it's separate so now the header should be outside of this 960 pixel box and it should be able to go full width so if I refresh there we go we now have a full width header okay and a full width footer okay just like that folks responsive theme I told you I don't mess around. I try to make it easy for you guys. Give you some good tutorials. Some people complain that I go too slow. Whatever. I'm here for the beginner. I'm here for those who don't understand web design, let alone the responsive theme or WordPress. So um, take it or leave it. There's plenty of fast paced tutorials out there that go over stuff in like five seconds and expect you to follow along and you know that's great for some people but I like to explain things and make sure I explain them very well
So I'm going to go ahead and put a background color on the header just like I did on the footer. And I'm going to right click on it use and use inspect my element with firebug. Uh, my neat little tool from Firefox. And once again, now we have header, container. I don't know if you can see that. But we have header, container, and footer is down below. Header, container, footer. They're all three separate now. Okay, header, container. So, I'm going to go ahead and use that header and in the inspector, here's the header right here. I'm going to go ahead, enter, enter. I'm going to go ahead and put a background color on that. And I'll make it the same as the footer, just so it matches. And I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, and possibly you might want to use this to uh, make your footer and header the same color. I'm going to go ahead and copy the rule declaration using the inspector. Okay. And I'm going to jump back over here to my dashboard, go to Appearance, Theme Options. <clears throat> go to the CSS Styles window, make some space, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. I don't need the margin, okay. All I need is the background color for the header, alright three simple little snippets of code have helped us um, create a full width header and a full width footer and with background color and just a little bit of editing on the header PHP file which should be on your child theme or you should be editing on a copy. Okay, we we'll go ahead and save that. Go back to the site. Refresh and the background will be permanent. Okay. There you go. We have a full width header and a full width footer for the responsive theme. All right. Cyberchimps, responsive theme, free tips and tutorials from Alan at myvisionmedia.net. If you have any questions, contact me. I'll be glad to help. I'm quite busy, but uh, I'll do my best. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel and uh, leave me some likes and some comments and definitely spread the word pass the word alright thanks appreciate it bye oh I almost forgot you want to know how to center the menu now that you have a full width header alright okay there's a little code snippet for that let's jump over to our dashboard and go to theme options and go to our trusty CSS styles option panel and we're going to go ahead and make some space and I'm going to grab a code snippet for centering the menu paste that in there. You can go ahead and pause the video and copy that. It's not that much code. Go ahead and save the options. Go back to the site and refresh. And there you have it. Now you have a full width header with centered menu and full width footer. Alrighty. Okay. Thanks a lot now. Leave me some likes. Alright. Bye.